Hey everybody, one that always bored, never boring. Today I'm going to be painting the giant spiders from the Castle Ravenloft D&D board game. I intend to use these obviously in that board game, but also in D&D proper and also Rangers of Shadow Deep. However, these are not particularly good miniatures, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on them, so I'm going to do them really quick, starting with a Chaos Black Spray and then moving straight on to a Coat of Incubi Darkness. Um, I'm going to be painting these guys so that they are green, but you could pretty much do the same process that I'm doing here with other colours. You could do browns and reds, um, yellows, you could even do like a white spider. Um, it doesn't really matter, the process is pretty much the same. It's going to be very quick, very simple, um, with as much dry brushing as possible just to get these guys done and on the table. With Incubi Darkness done, we're going to apply a coat of Nuln Oil over the whole miniature. This is obviously going to run into the recesses, uh, pick out the details, add some recess shading, and also tone down the green a little bit. And we want to make sure we go over the whole miniature. And then when that's completely dry, we're going back to Incubi Darkness and we're going to do a light dry brush over the whole miniature um, just to help pick out the raised details. Um, from this point on, we're going to do quite a bit of dry brushing um, just to bring out all the different details. Next, we're moving to Caliban Green. We're going to do another dry brush here, but we are not going to dry brush the entire miniature. We're going to dry brush around the edges of the abdomen. We're going to dry brush over the top of the body and the head, and then we're going to dry brush the legs. We want the legs to be a little bit brighter than the body. And then when that is dry, we're going to do another dry brush with Cabalite Green, and we're going to do pretty much the same thing, focusing more on the edges of the abdomen again, and uh, more on the tops of the legs rather than the underside of the legs. So we're gradually building up those different layers of green. Next, we're switching to Moot Green, and you just need a really bright green here, and... Uh, when you look at tarantulas and things like that, quite often they have bands of bright colour around the knuckles on their legs, around the joints. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just going to apply a ring of moot green above and below each joint on the miniature. And some of the joints aren't very well defined on this miniature because it's not a really good cast. It's not a really clean, crisp model, but sort of just doing the best I can. And it doesn't matter too much. It is supposed to be... Um, a natural creature so it will have imperfections in its detailing and um, I just want to get it done quickly really so I'm not worrying too much about it but we're just going to put these bands all over the legs and then we're going to pick out some of the edges of the back of the abdomen doing an edge highlight there and then picking out some of the raised details on the top staying away from the center of the back Just picking out the odd strand here and there, um, just to make it look more venomous, uh, more ethereal, more unnatural. And then I'm going to put a Thonian camo shade over the legs and just over the areas where we have applied the moot green. And I'm watering the Thonian camo shade down quite a bit because. I don't want it to be really dark and I don't want to um, take the colours down too much. I want that moot green to stay quite vibrant. But I just want to blend the colours together a little bit more and uh, intensify the moot green. We just need to pick out the eyes now. So we're going to use Mephiston Red. We're going to very carefully apply a coat of that over the two eyes. And then we're just going to hit the very top of the eyes with some Evil Sun Scarlet. Just for a bit of a spot highlight. And we're finished with the spider now. So we're going to put Astro Granite on the base. Being careful not to um, actually get it over the painted spider. And then we'll put a ring of Abaddon Black around the base. And then hit it with some varnish. And that will be it completely finished. And... At the same time, I painted up these little spider swarms, which are from one of the other D&D board games, using the same colour scheme, basically. So um, they have this swarm of baby green ones to go along with uh, the, the mummy green ones. 
And that's it for this painting guide. Very quick, very simple. Not the best paint job in the world, but it gets them to the table quickly, which is what I was trying to do. And um, I have a lot of other D&D miniatures to get painted. So that's it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you have really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.